Hey, what's up, stream keepers? Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, just uh, wanted to give you an update uh, on the on the streams uh, from Taiwan that uh, I just uh, recently purchased. As you can see, that uh, one of the streams over here, uh, you can see that is actually already buried, and I have some uh, at the back that is also buried as well. So this uh, update is actually to to. Sh to give provide uh, a visibility on um, how to actually get your streams to actually breed much faster, uh, much quicker than uh, than than usual. Uh, I think the the most important point is that you will probably need to have a uh, you know a good water parameters, and then you have a uh, sufficient food, and and then just leave them to do their thing. So basically, you just uh, have to make sure that um, the conditions are met uh, for the streams and they will generally breed. So one of the things that is being downplayed a lot is that, uh, you know, um, sufficient food. So whether the, the tank is, uh, does it have sufficient food uh, or too much food, um, that can kind of uh, create some um, problems uh, because if you overfeed the, the tank then the tank uh, water parameters will uh, not be very uh, stable and the tank needs to be um, you know do uh, you will need to probably do more water change than than, than required so feed, feed the right amount of food and then uh, have a good grazing material and just leave the streams uh, be it uh, so they will they will breed um, when they are ready and given that all the conditions are met they will breed uh, much faster than than you expect so as you can see uh, even in this tank uh, the the flower heads are actually um, doing fairly well uh, this uh, female is actually also buried as well so uh, just feeding their daily feed and, and you can see that the uh, in uh, just a few more seconds you can actually see another female that's going to come in uh, that's uh, from uh, the older batch and it's, uh, it's one of my favorite flower head uh, stream uh, it's coming as you can see the size uh, is twice the size almost twice the size of the smaller female it has a tinge of uh, yellow in, in, in there uh, she's not buried but as you can see she's uh, fairly ready to get buried again um, and both of them are <laughs> actually fighting for for the f for a uh, share of their food so the deep blue boat likewise uh, they are being fed and you can see that they are actually going after it even though that uh, there's a lot of uh, biofilm in the tank uh, produced by the microorganism back but then again um, they still uh, first choice is is the Wild version one uh, stream food that's their main uh, daily staple i think that's uh, important uh, important distinction between uh, daily feeds and uh, grazing material so thanks for stopping by um, so that's the update for for today um, just wanted to share with you a, a recap on uh, the importance of water parameters and uh, stream source and and also more importantly the, the type of feed that you use and uh, sufficient grazing material thank you for watching if you like the video please subscribe